Guys, I want to speak about seat of Christ. Many of us who are following Jesus and walking in the narrow way that leads to life, we will all appear, if we are faithful till the end, before the seat of Christ to give account what we made the good and the bad means the people that they, they pretend that they are following Christ but they are not walking in the narrow way that leads to life would not even appear for that reason Jesus said not everyone that says Lord Lord enter in the kingdom of heaven but who does the will of my father many will come they will say we cast demons with, with your name we made many miracles with your name he will say to them go away from me who that makes lawlessness so don't think that everybody will appear only who wants to live holiness who seek the first the kingdom of God who seek to please God not people it's very easy to pretend before people as I already spoke before that we lose salvation if we live sinful life so we can't appear before the seat of Christ we if we are living sinful life we will be judged with the word because we are living sinful life so we are considered gods so we must choose to follow Jesus and to live holiness this is the only way to appear before the seat of Christ for that reason I am calling again that without holiness we can never enter to kingdom of heaven and we lose our salvation if we live sinful life so the seat of Christ is only for people that who follow him and who seek to live holiness and who ask always a power and they have the holy fire in them and they have that zealous that Jesus had the zealous of your house has it in me so if you have zealous for God, you will stop judging your brothers. You will not look at others. You will look, you will fix your eyes on Jesus, our chief of faith. So we mustn't convince ourselves if we are not living holiness, if we are not following, if we are not walking in the narrow way that leads to life. And Jesus said, few will find it few wants to live holiness because why Jesus said few will find it because few wants to live holiness everybody wants to go in the large way in the wide way that leads to destruction so only who wants who is born again and had the Holy Spirit and they are led by the Spirit of God can enter to heaven for that reason Jesus said few will find it that narrow way that leads to life you must be led by the Spirit of God so you can arrive to the destination. Oh yes, we are saved by grace. By not by our works. But when we had the Holy Spirit and we are we had the holy fire in us, we will stop living for the world, we will we will continue living for Jesus and seek his kingdom seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness so the seat of Christ is our only for people that living holiness and they are obeying Christ and they are repenting for their everything that they made in their life every day and like Peter they ask Jesus to wash their feet every day it means the contact with the world so this is why Jesus said I must wash your feet for Peter because we need every day that God washes us with his blood 
you need every day to repent so we can be ready to stand to be worthy to stand before him so the seat of Christ is only for people living holiness and following Jesus in the way that Jesus asked in the narrow way that leads to life so many I saw some people they were discussing or pretending that they will enter they will enter you will enter we will enter in heaven only in following Jesus in the narrow way we will appear in the before the seat of Christ if we ask to please God not man if not because going to church will change anything going to Jesus will change everything what Jesus said to Mary Mary has chosen the good part which will never be taken from her so follow Jesus sit beside of Jesus feet of Jesus let Jesus to wash your feet every day and repent every day from everything so you can be ready and so that holy fire will consume in you everything that doesn't please God Jesus bless you